Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Metal Gear uh, Neo Air PC case. Okay, so the reason uh, why I chose this case, I don't really have a case, but I'm going to be switching to this case right now. So the reason why I chose this case is, well, obviously I'm going for that white and black theme. And uh, right now my PC case is black, which I mean, it's not the worst thing, but the main reason why I'm switching it out is because it is super super loud and this thing is super super quiet and i really don't like uh loud cases so the one that i have right now is the Sharkoon tg4 or something like that i would not recommend it it's not a good case it's good for um temps and stuff like that but building in it and the amount of space that you get for cable management is absolutely a nightmare now obviously it looks pretty cool and the installed rgb fans are good but this also has two uh, 120 millimeter uh, RGB fans in the front panel and I will be just swapping these uh, I will obviously be adding three more fans from that case into this case now I really don't want to do that because I think that, I, that the, the uh, stock fans on that case are the reason why it is so loud I'm gonna be testing it out if I see if I hear that it's still too loud or you know it makes a lot of noise I will be buying some other fans okay but anyways let's just dive straight into this and let us unbox this keep in mind i'm unboxing this on the floor because it's huge now obviously with this case uh, there are three versions of this so you have the ah you have the uh, neo what is this it's way better let me put it on here somewhere yeah okay you have the neo g you have the neo neo air and then you have the Neo Silent. I don't know why this is called Silent, because Neo Air is way uh, more quiet than the Neo Silent. But anyways, let's open this up. Okay, so we are greeted with the uh, front mesh panel. Now this case obviously has a front mesh panel, which is absolutely amazing. That's what we want to see. And I'm actually going to turn this around. There it is. Okay. Okay. Whew. After some hassle, we finally got it out of this box. <laughs> okay. So, hold on. I'm going to switch to my desk. Okay, now that we are greeted with the front side, let's take off these foam panels. Now this case is a black and white theme, as I mentioned before. There is also a tempered glass, so be careful with that. There you go, that is the case. Okay, now obviously, oh my. I just got a static shock now obviously because I touched those foam panels by the way if you're gonna like literally I touched with my thumb this got a little bit of an electric shock so before you work on your motherboard and stuff like that please try to touch a metal object wherever you are okay just to get that static things out of your hands you want it to be non-static otherwise uh, it could end up very bad okay so obviously we have a beautiful um, black and white theme. We got ourselves the tempered glass, um, which is held on by these two screws in the back. Looking at the front side, we have a beautiful mesh panel with the Metal Gear logo. Now we can literally just from the bottom, pop it off and it will come out. Um, if we look at the back, now this case is pretty light. I don't know why a lot of people say that this is Heavy, like my TJ4 is super heavy. Um, I mean, we have the um, undersnight for the power supply and obviously for our motherboard IO shield right here. The glass panels should slide out. It has a cool little handle in the back, so you can just slide it out. That's cool. And then we can look inside of the case. Now, looking at the inside of the case, we obviously have two uh, RGB uh, installed 
fans in the front. Uh, we have enough room. Radiator, a radiator on top, and we obviously have another fan option right here. As you can see, the standoffs in the model or the on the case are already installed. Then you know it's a good case. All right, so at the top here we are greeted with a obviously a power button. We have an LED uh, switch. We have a reset switch. Two USB ports. I would have liked the scene three, but you know I'll make it work. And then a headphone jack and a microphone jack. Now that I have unscrewed the screws for the back, we can actually just slide it out. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can slide it out. It comes off pretty easy. It's pretty heavy, actually. This is actually good quality. We toss that to the side now. We have these cable clips to hold the cables in, which is amazing. I mean, look at how much space that we have uh, to cable manage. And at the bottom here, we also have enough uh, space. We have like one, two, three, four, five openings for a side, you know, for the 24 pin and stuff like that. We have an opening right here for the CPU, uh, another opening right here. I don't know what that is, maybe for the uh, fans. Yeah, I can actually use that for the fans. Can run, or not, maybe I will try to get it through here. We'll see. Uh, we obviously have space for one, two, three SSDs. And we can see right here that we have space for two um, hard, hard drive disk rooms, whatever you want. Uh, let's actually, now you cannot access these from the back. You have to pull off the front mesh panel in order to get to your hard drive. So let's open the front. Well, we can pull it off. It comes off pretty uh, easily. Uh, I like the front panel, the front mesh panel, it's good. It's gonna get pretty dusty, but a little bit of air compression and we're good. Okay, so from here, obviously we have the extra um, stuff that comes with the, uh, with the case. We can pull this off. There you go. These clips were inside of this, so that's why it's why, why it was so tight. Okay, so we are obviously greeted with what is this? Oh, we got some zip ties to screw in your motherboard and extra um, things to hold. Or if you lose a screw, you know, extra stuff. Good to see. Uh, the zip ties are very handy, so hey, that's actually really good to see. Uh, I like that. But, anyways, we have two slots for your hard drives, one up here, one up there. I will, later on down the line, I will buy a two terabyte hard drive. Um, but yeah, that is actually the whole entire case. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but my, no, no, I'm just joking, okay? I'm gonna be putting all of my parts in this, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks, and obviously how it performs, and give you guys an extra review, okay? And how it was in building in this thing. A lot of people say it's pretty, good to build in this thing so we'll see um i'm gonna place two fans up top one in the rear and i'll catch you guys i don't know within two hours three hours we'll see how long it takes seven hours later all right ladies and gentlemen we are officially done um the build went all right it looks absolutely amazing um it didn't obviously go well as good as i hoped because we ran into a little pickle where there was this like one 12 volt rgb uh, cable or something i couldn't plug it in, in into my motherboard it was really really weird so after i you know i decided you know what let's let's just plug it in and let's see what happens and really i didn't see any i mean the rgb went on RGB on the CPU cooler went on, the cable, I don't know where it went, uh, I just left it, uh, didn't need that. Anyways, let's just start this up and let's see how it looks. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go, let's start the PC. There we go, we got the RGB lights running. And shh, shh. what a big, big difference. So the reason why I actually cut the video was because, um, well... The fans that were in the TG4 or something um, was the cause of the loud noise. So um, I opened up my pre-built over there and I took out those fans and I put them in here. And yeah, but later down the line, I will definitely buy one of those fans right there. Exactly the same. So, you know, it matches and it has a built more RGB. I mean, I'm not a huge RGB fan, like if there's no RGB, I don't really care. I mean, there is obviously some RGB, but you know, I, I, 
it doesn't really matter for me i think that the how it looks how the way it looks is amazing the um the thing that you have to consider is that this case has a 12 volt rgb uh, header which goes into the motherboard so yet again i have no idea for what that is being used you know for rgb obviously for rgb but for what rgb i mean everything is working perfectly fine even if i press on the rgb um, thing the color switch so i can put it on white i think white looks the best but yeah i don't know like i mean if anybody knows in the comment section yeah be sure to let me know but other than that guys that was the complete build um it looks absolutely amazing um we obviously have some fingerprints over there but i will definitely get rid of that so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys in the next video peace